Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited about this video because I am at my parents' house, the place where I grew up. And so for this video, I want to do it more personal and include my monthly favorites from July. So let's get started. Come follow me. Welcome back everybody. So you are in my old bedroom where I used to grow up and used to spend a lot of my time in. So I decided to do a monthly favorites video for the month of July. I'm very excited. I've never done it before. I have a few products here and there, some skincare, some body care, a little bit of makeup, and a little bit of random things. So if you guys like these videos, keep watching. So the first things I want to talk about are basically kind of like a little bit of skincare and body products. So the first one I want to share is my my eye cream that I've been using for the past two months, I believe. And this is by Philosophy. It's called their Renewed Hope in a Jar Eye. And this stuff is amazing because it's a very lightweight, but very moisturizing. It doesn't really have any smell, which is really good because I've noticed that if my eye products have some type of scent, it really irritates my eyes. And it wears very well underneath makeup, so that's a really good must. So this next product is slightly random, but I just I want to share with you guys because I've been loving this deodorant by Donna Care and the Cashmere Mist. And I've heard so much good stuff about it, and I was just very on the edge of spending over 20 bucks for a deodorant, but... It was definitely worth it and I just keep buying them because it works and I live in Florida and I am very active. I work out, I play a lot of sports with my husband and it stays on in my, and I smell very good still. And plus the smell is not overpowering at all and it smells very nice, fresh and it's a very nice deodorant I thought I'd share with you guys. So these next two products actually go kind of hand in hand. One is a body wash and, then, and this one is body lotion. So I finally just, I've actually discovered a new product by Bath & Body Works. I never knew they carry these, the aromatherapy. They're really nice. So this, this body wash is really, really good. And it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. This is a sensual line and it is the black currant vanilla. And it is really good. I love using this at night for my, in the showers or baths. It's really nice. And my husband really likes the smell too. And for this lotion, this is the energy line that they have from the aromatherapy. And it's orange ginger. And this is awesome in the mornings. It, that smell really wakes you up. It kind of hits you in the face, but not too much. And it's really, really nice. It has the essential oils in here, and it feels really nice on my body. And plus, look at this little bottle. It's glass. It's really cute. So I want to talk about my favorite foundation that I've been wearing for the past month and a half. And it's the only thing I've been wearing on my face. Besides other makeup, obviously. But this is the YSL Le Tent to Chocolat. I have no idea if I said that correctly. I probably didn't. Probably 100% didn't. I butchered it. But I'm in the shade B30 if you're interested. And the reason why I love this foundation so much is because it's so lightweight, but it actually has a pretty good coverage if you layer it. But if you layer it, it doesn't look cakey and it lasts all day long. And I live in Florida, so humidity, I am very impressed with this. And plus it has sunscreen, SPF of 19, which is... A really must for me. Also, I like to apply this with a damp beauty blender, my hands, actually my fingers, or my favorite foundation brush, which is by Hourglass. So if you guys are interested, definitely check this foundation out. It is pricey though, but it's definitely worth it. If you're looking for a really great heavy duty concealer, I have one for you. I've been loving this stuff. This is by It Cosmetics by by Under Eye. And this, I have it is amazing. I don't know why I've never heard of it before until It Cosmetics actually reached out by Cream.me website and they sent it to me and I was amazed at how good this stuff really is. It's very, very opaque, which is if you have dark circles underneath your eyes, they will definitely cover it. But the beauty of this thing is it's very, very lightweight. I'm not even exaggerating how lightweight this is. I put it under my face. And I can't even feel it. Like throughout the day, I'm like, oh, wow, I actually have concealer on it. It still looks good. And my sister, my older sister, she loves this stuff. I got her hooked on it because it's so good. And it doesn't crease and it doesn't budge and it's waterproof, by the way. This stuff, I cannot say enough good things about it. It's amazing. And it's really tiny and, the, and it's a very, the tube, the packaging is very awesome. And it's, yes, it's, it's awesome. My last makeup product is a mascara and... I love trying new mascaras. I really do. I try probably from 
the cheapest to the most expensive. I love mascaras. And I've actually been loving this Roller Lash by Benefit. It's a really, really nice mascara. It's more of a wet formula, but not too wet where you have to wait like 10 minutes for your eyelashes to dry. Oh my gosh, it is storming. The house is like shaking, so windy. Do you guys hear that? Alright, so it started storming and it's pretty loud and it's really windy. But for my last makeup product, I have been really loving this mascara, the Roller Lash by Benefit. And it's just really good. The formula is awesome. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't break off. And it really holds my la my curl because my lashes are naturally curly. So it does hold a curl and I can actually do a lot of building up if I want crazy dramatic lashes. And this actually works very well. And I don't know. I've just been loving this mascara for... This is the only mascara I've been wearing for a good month or so. So it's definitely one of my favorites. My first random favorite is this purse. I actually found it at Francesca's. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but it's kind of, they're kind of all over the place. I have some in New York and Florida, a lot of states actually. Well, the reason why I like this bag is because I can wear it around my shoulder. I can wear it as a crossbody bag. And it's pretty small and compact, but it has a ton of room. It has so many different compartments and it's really cute. I love this brown color and the inside with the arrows. And I just love the gold detailing and the strap. And it's just, it's a really nice purse. And I love that it has a back pocket where I can just shove my phone or my keys if I'm in a hurry and just want to like run into the grocery store or something. But yeah, and it's very inexpensive. It was like 40 bucks or something. So I really like this purse. And they have a lot of cute ones also. So another random favorite are these Converse shoes. I don't know what the, the type they are. Are they called like slingbacks? Because... They have, they kind of just hold on and then you don't really tie them up. They're very tight right here with the, the shoelaces. But they are so functional. I love wearing these with like boyfriend jeans, skinny jeans, shorts, dresses even. Just kind of dress, up, dress down the dresses. But these are awesome because you just slip them on and you go. You don't have to tie your shoes or anything. But I love these ones because they're very functional and they're very cute as well. Yes. My favorite of the month was definitely this trip that my husband and I took up to New York to visit with all my siblings and my parents and my aunt. And it was just so much fun to relive some of my favorite memories as a kid in the house where I grew up. This house definitely is one of my favorites in my whole life because it has a bunch of memories from my childhood up to the teenage years, up to before I got married. And it's amazing because I can bring my husband back here and hopefully our kids someday. And it just kind of shows who I am as a person. And it was definitely a lot of fun vlogging when we were here. It was it was amazing. Definitely check it out behind the scenes of what we did. We had a lot of fun. All right, guys. So that's it for my monthly favorite video. I hope you liked it. I definitely did. But stay tuned for more videos.